Hello, it is Mr. Cucumber, and this is the Call of Duty Ghost weapon review series uh, I am making, and today we're covering the Honey Badger Assault Rifle. The best thing about this weapon is that it has a built-in silencer. Now this means that if you usually have a silencer on your weapon, you'll be able to carry more attachments, as the silencer isn't occupying any attachment slots. Because this weapon has a built-in silencer, it means that it has 20% less range compared to other weapons without a silencer. Uh, despite this, um, this drop in range, it's still quite manageable to kill somebody out to a long distance. The only thing maybe holding you back is this weapon's recoil because without a foregrip, it does kick a little bit. And probably the second best thing about this weapon, and the thing that I like the most, is this weapon's mobility. It is able to perform really well in SMG-like situation, which in my opinion is something that no other assault rifle has, uh, quite to the extent of the Honey Badger. I really think of this weapon as a hybrid between an assault rifle and a submachine gun. Okay, now damage. The damage isn't that bad, this gun will be able to perform well in gun on gun situation. The only thing where it might be a little weak is on long range gun fights. Hey, now that that's, you know, before we move on to recommendations, uh, that's about it for the, the, the weapon itself. Um, it's definitely my second favourite assault rifle in the game, down from, um, second from the uh, Remington R5, that is a, an absolute monster. But yeah, this is really nice, and this is good for like all-round situations. This is why I've given the rating uh, of this weapon an 8.5. Uh, if you want it something to compare to, um, then just watch my other, um, other, other weapon reviews as they come out. No, I would recommend it for game modes, or well, all game modes, but uh, primarily uh, Search and Rescue and Cranked. Uh, cranked because of its really nice mobility and, you know, enemies just spawn in random places and if someone comes out unexpected then you will have uh, a chance of winning that gunfight. And uh, Search and Rescue because, you know, it's like Search and Destroy, you need, you need stealth and this one is stealthy by default. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this um, this uh, this gun review of the Honey Badger. Uh, my next episode will be the Remington R5, and uh, yeah, okay, I will see you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed.